it's my opinion that to have a name for each technique is very important. That way, if people are trained on a certain technique and they know what the name is, they can identify with that no matter where you're at in the country or in your state or your region. So if we have certain names for these techniques, I think that is a, a good advantage for us. The Florida Floor Jack is an advanced technique when dealing with vehicle extrication. It's important to know with advanced techniques that these techniques will not always work depending on the construction of the vehicle. It's just something that we're going to need to look at and try and see if we can accomplish the goal of an advanced technique. However, if this advanced technique is not progressing within, say, five minutes or so, you want to try a different plan. So we always want to have a plan B in the background so that we can already be thinking about if this doesn't work, what am I going to do next? We don't want to stick with a plan that's not working and keep on going at it if it's a loser. We want to change plans. With the Florida Floor Jack, this is a technique that would be used if a, if a for instance, if a vehicle was, was in a front end collision and the patient or patient submarine down under the dashboard and in that case we would typically do a either a modified dash lift or a dash roll. However, the Florida floor jack would be used in a case like this where you also have an overturned vehicle and now you have a vehicle upside down that you have an entanglement up under the dashboard with the pedals and so forth or the dashboard down on the, the victim's legs. So this is the specific time that we would take a look at the Florida floor jack. And what that will do is it will lift the floor as it leaves the rest of the vehicle down low by, by use of spreaders and by, by using cribbing and so forth to support the, the lift as you lift the, the vehicle. The first part of the Florida floor jack is going to be a side removal. If it's a four-door four vehicle, we're going to take a look at the vehicle. We're going to remove the side of the vehicle. If it's a two-door vehicle, we're just going to remove that, that one door. That is normally enough to remove a victim from an overturned vehicle. But if you look and you determine that the victim is also entangled up underneath the dashboard, that is when you would employ the technique of the Florida floor jack by making some relief cuts and lifting the floor upward as we leave the roof and the rest of the car down low on the ground or surface that, that you're working on there. When we do this, we are going to also be cutting the A post, B post, or in the case of a four-door car, the A, B, and C post. It is imperative that we take a look at the vehicle and wherever we're going to be cutting these posts, we strip away the plastic and so forth, and what we're looking for there are inflator assemblies for the side curtain bag in some of these newer vehicles. When you have a side curtain bag, it's really not imperative that you know exactly where the inflator is. What is imperative is that you know where you're going to cut, whether there is an inflator or not. So wherever you're going to cut, you want to rip and strip that plastic and those molding pieces away, and you want to take a look and make sure that there is not an inflator assembly in that A, B, or C post. That's, that's very important.
This is Lee Hollins. Thank you for watching.